All right. We'll be taking your questions today all about terahertz and we'll be sharing information with you. Uh, Benet will be joining me in just a moment. Thank you so much for being here, whether you have terahertz or whether you are uh, going to be getting your terahertz. Warm welcome. We have lots to share with you today. Uh, just about ready to go here. <clears throat> Thank you so, so much for joining us. All right, fantastic. So that's going. We're going to show the slideshow in just a moment. We're going to bring Benay on. How are you? How are you doing? How's everything going? How are you feeling? Can't wait to hear maybe your experience of using. You know, we have a lot of people on here today who are using current users um, of their um, terahertz, and we would really like to hear what have you been what have you been doing with your terahertz? Hello, Benay. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good, good. What's going on in your world? Weather is the weather a little bit better these days? Oh, it's extremely warm here. I don't know about you, but it's like 80 degrees here, and we've got thunderstorms, so it's unseasonably warm. Probably the, cold by you. <clears throat> from the sublime to the ridiculous, huh? I mean, you went from exactly. freezing cold, snow, right? Um, so yep. now you're in different a different state of uh, <laughs> experience. Exactly. Is it, so you're saying unseasonably in April in, in your part of Texas, what is the temperature usually? Well, 70 during the day could be one thing, but you know, when you're talking 80 and it actually the other day it got on it got to 90 in some spots. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, you're not you're not ready. You have to build up to it because when you when you've been cold and then you go to ninety, it feels like a hundred and fifty. Oh sure, and there's high humidity with it too. <clears throat> oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Well, have you heard from anybody who's been using their terahertz or had any experience with it over the past week? I personally have not. I wonder if any of our participants have. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to grab a few things here. I guess give us some basics, Benet, of what your understanding of just uh, what terahertz can do for someone or review with us a little bit about how you use it for your back and what your experience has been. Well, when I discovered terahertz frequencies, <clears throat> along with um, other modalities that I have, uh, obviously genius being one of them, um, a Rife machine and so forth, uh, the terahertz spectrum of frequencies obviously um, gave me more pain relief, gave me quite a bit of skin uh, relief. It's a real uh, benefit to any kind of skin disorders whatsoever. Poison ivy, eczema. I mean, I've actually seen on one of my clients where I started uh, terahertzing their eczema and it went from you know, red to just light pink. And I wish I would have taken pictures when I started um, to actually see what it looks like afterward. But the skin conditions, it's really very beneficial. And with pain, it's highly beneficial, given the fact that, of course, if you aren't in severe pain, but if you are, you will experience pain reduction. But I've literally had people in with uh, knee pain um, one person was a, a dirt bike, uh, competing person, and he came in with a knee, uh, hurting very, very bad. And, um, by the time it only took about five minutes total. And he stood up and he said, I don't have any pain at all. I can't believe this. Um, so I think if it's smaller, localized and not severe, I've got an awful lot going on. I've got spine, I've got hips that are bone on bone. Um, so there's a whole midsection that I have a lot of various pain that is coming from. I get pain reduction, but I don't yeah. get pain dissolved. Get pain dissolved, but compared to what you would normally, I mean, if you weren't using the terahertz, how many ibuprofen or hydrocortisone shots do you think you would need? Well, if I weren't, you know, doing that, um, first of all, I avoid with a plague anything that's even high ibuprofen. Right. Uh, but well, the that, can have, that can have impact on your kidneys. 
I know. That's why I've always stayed away from all medications. In fact, I was totally medication free uh, for 30 years until over this last, oh, I would say it started to really escalate over the last six months. I've done ozone therapy. I've done other things, you know, from uh, the MD uh, alternative medical doctor, of which I have. I have an alternative med medic MD. Um, and like so a whole, like a holistic MD. Yes, right. And all of those, you know, no matter what, I've tried everything, anything that I can come in contact with as far as my knowledge. Um, and uh, all of that has helped, but it hasn't, you know, obviously the process has continued, you know, to where it's bone on bone. Lately, I've gone to work and got exosome injections uh, just yesterday, as a matter of fact, which is a derivative of what your stem cells produce. Stem cells produce exosomes, and so you eliminate a step. Many of you have heard about cell, you know, stem cell, you know, injecting, but you can eliminate the process that the stem cells have got to go through to make the exosomes and just now get the exosomes, you know, injection. Um, so I'm hoping that that together with a lot of these other modalities that I've got, um, I'm going to generate, regenerate cartilage which we know that this is, you know, doing some of this type of stuff from people with smaller issues, indicating that from their testimonies. You know, we're not making any claims, but when people are testifying that they're getting that kind of results, we know that there's got to be the benefit from it. So it's highly beneficial, both for pain and skin, dominantly, really, really much. I definitely hear the same things and we're hearing rave reviews. It's really exciting to send um, our terahertz units out to people and then hear back from them. Sometimes if I see an email, I go, oh my gosh, is there going to be you know something I need to attend to, something I need to clarify? But no, people are sending me emails with glowing reviews of how happy they are, how easy they find it to use and how People who are in their family who found the genius challenging to use or didn't understand why it worked will be sitting down watching the ball game or just sitting on the couch and like they'll start using the terahertz and they start having amazing experiences and it's their first foray for them of successfully using frequency therapies and their don't understand how it works, but they're happy it works because it's reducing their knee pain, it's reducing their back pain, it's helping their skin to be more beautiful, it's helping their hair to grow in thicker, and they're just, they're super stoked about it. Yep, for sure. And, and our, I'm really happy to say that our manufactured products are of exceptional quality. Now I've had, I, can you believe that we've been working on this really since December now, it sounds short, but I can't believe how time has flown. And even people who got them back in the very beginning, everybody is happy. Everybody has one that's working. Everybody has one now that's generating all the heat, all of the uh, terahertz frequencies. And with the box, of course, people, that has been the biggest leader for people is using the, the core box. This has been the number one thing that people have ordered because they love that it has the five terahertz chips, it's easy to hold in your hand. You could even get a stand for it. Um, and so we've had rave reviews on this, but then I've noticed over time, since we have the terahertz triple play where you can get three, uh, you can get two wands and then the core box. So we have a 6.0 wand, a 7.0 wand, and people have found this very convenient because they can give it to friends. They can loan out that 6.0 wand and they have the 7.0 wand for themselves and they have the core box. So we do have on our website at geniusbiofeedback.com, the terahertz triple play, it's been really popular. I've, ha I've had sometimes had people order the core box and then the next day they call up and they're like, no, 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 I want, I want all three. I want it as if I ordered that triple play. So um, there's still an opportunity to get the triple play and we will have a coupon for you later in the class here so that if you want to opt in and we also have a double play so we have the 7.0 and the 6.0 together that you can also obtain if you want to but we'd love to hear more testimonials more people ex uh, expressing their experience and patty says i've been using it several times a week on shoulder for bursitis and it's 
been absolutely it's it absolutely helps with pain relief so that's really great remember that bursitis right this is an inflammation of the joint of the shoulder joint the joint is a place where two bones come together they articulate and usually there's some type of a a bursa or a sac something that's going to cushion the two bones articulating with each other and that bursa can become inflamed the downside of that inflammation is it's very hard for drugs to get into the area. It's not a well vascularized area. There's not a lot of blood coming in there. And that is where our light and frequency therapies shine because they can get deeply into that joint space very, very easily when you apply the terahertz frequencies, just aim, point and shoot, aim it at that shoulder and just spend a good 30 seconds, two minutes, five minutes in a circular motion in the back, in the front, anywhere that you can get some sort of access to that shoulder joint. Now, Patty also says, um, Patty also says, has anybody used it? Or what do you think of using it for sinus issues or sinusitis? So, um, Binet, do you have anybody with this experience? I have had people <clears throat> that have used it, you know, in that way, either by using the points on the body um, which you've even got sinus points, you know, uh, if you look at reflexology, you have sinus points on your hands as well as your feet. Um, and if you do your face or upper here, you can do, you know, you can do your face for, you know, a couple of minutes and so forth, and it's not going to do any harm. Keep your eyes closed. I would not spend 10 minutes doing anything on my face because the sinuses are there and, and eyes and so forth, but there isn't any harm in doing it very uh, short brief periods, but I have had people say that it did help their breathing, you know, to some degree. Did it? Well, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, so let's just review for a moment. So if you had the, let's just say the core box, you know, the sinuses, we have the um, maxillary sinuses and then there, there is like a sphenoid sinus. There are different sinuses that are deep within. Um, so obviously you could work here, 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 this would be obvious places to work. Um, but you're saying, so you wouldn't actually tear hurts to these exact places. What would be your approach? I, I would, you know, what I'm saying is don't spend in front of the, in front of the blowing frequencies. I wouldn't spend 10 minutes having it blow. Oh up. yeah. That'd be very uncomfortable. You know, a couple of minutes, you know, th uh, three minutes or whatever. Um, the frequency, you know, a couple of times a day, um, don't try to kill the horse, you know, right away with 10, 15 minutes, just in one shot, you know, do two, three minutes and then the latter part of the day as well. And see if that does help you do a little experiment. Everybody's to some degree, a little different as far no, as that's what... a, no, it's a wonderful idea. And of course, um, so with the head, of course you can go here, you could go here. Um, those would be for the sinuses, but also you could go really to the back of the head where there are many, many different points, like in that occipital region that affect a lot of the body, a lot of the immune system. So you could go to the back of the neck um, here, as I said, and, and here or here above here. And you're going to use, if you're using the core box, you want to make sure you use probably majority of time on that blue light why? Because the blue light is anti-pathogenic. -path it's antimicrobial. It really seems to boost the immune system and help with infections. Now, it's not a bad idea to also do the red light because the red light is going to nourish your mitochondria and that's great for the energy of the body. But it's probably going to feel good to anybody unless the sinus is very inflamed and then because you're adding heat to it maybe instead of using because the cool thing about this is that it not only has the really high setting for heat let's see if we can turn this on i don't know if you could see that but there's a blue light and when that blue light goes to a light blue then it's running on the cooling fan and so what you can do is turn the basically the um, blue light on with the cooling fan for somebody who has like an active warm sinusitis where they actually can feel that it's inflamed if it's not in that active part in the of the infection 
then um, you could run the warming. The warming, I would think, would feel great because it's going to open everything up, Binet, and probably cause a lot of drainage. I would think so, yes. Fortunately, I personally don't have a lot of sinus issues, thank the Lord. But, you know, for those that do, experiment. You know, just like I said, do short segments a couple times a day rather than trying to do a long one. Um, it's better for all issues doing it and approaching it that way. You know, um, sinus, anytime you have any type of mucus, then this is actually a congestion in the colon showing it reflecting to the rest of the body with a type of mucus. So a very um, light, lighter diet, especially removing dairy is going to be instrumental in helping people just have less mucus overall. Even if just like a 21 day elimination of all mucus, you're probably gonna notice that you have less sinus issues in general. Um, and yeah, some people just do. And then the other thing, of course, a lot of people know about is a neti pot where you basically do salt water in the little neti Ayurvedic little dish and you rinse out. And, and we should all be doing that from time to time because the nose is like this incredible filtration machine. Of course, it's better to be always breathing through your nose because you have this amazing filtration system. But what do you do? You never clean the filter, right? Imagine doing that with your furnace and so forth. So a neti pot is a wonderful practice where you really swish out with the uh, by putting the rinse um, into the nostrils. But Im imagine terahertzing the water that you're going to use for in your neti pot. That's an excellent idea. Excellent. Yeah, so let's try that. You know, yeah. Patty, like, try uh, try terahertzing the water that you're ultimately going to put in a neti pot and tell us what your experience of it, uh, if it is. We'd love to um, hear what your experience is and if you notice anything or have something that, you know, has improved, we would certainly love to hear about it. Okay, so let's see. She says, I have pain in my occipital region. Well, that's a great, as long as it's not super hot or inflamed, that's a great reason to put the um, core box back there or maybe have somebody work on you with the wand or put the wand on one of the wonderful stands that we have or that we recommend on Amazon. And maybe, Benet, it's a good time if you can put a link to the stand that people can see for using their wand. And Patty says, I'll try to do that with my neti pot. Okay, very good. I love it, absolutely fantastic. Okay, I'll listen tomorrow and hope it's not choppy. It's undoubtedly the internet here. Tons of snow. Gosh, Karen's getting snow somewhere. You're getting 90 degree weather in Texas. What in the world is going on? At least in Portland, we only have rain, which is just like we get every day is rain. So I'm thankful right now for the, for the rain. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Just some basic review about terahertz technology. It's like terahertz frequencies are at a similar resonance to the home resonance for your cells. Just like when they're, it, it's for your cells to be exposed to the terahertz wand, the beautiful blue light of the wand, or the two colors from our core box, which runs the red and the blue light. It's like your cells get to kind of get out in the sun and you know how good that you feel the sun on your face that's similar to how the cells are receiving the terahertz waves and light. They really like it when it helps them to be more normalized. It helps them to go back to their, their home frequency or their home resonance. So it's a wonderful tool. I think it's a natural partner tool to the genius because sometimes you just want something that has a physical effect and you could use both of them together. You could be running your genius frequencies and you could also be running your terahertz frequency. So I think there are some exceptional tools, tools that really stand out. The Genius Quantum Biofeedback is one for me. And now really using some sort of terahertz technology is another one. What we offer here at GeniusBioFeedback.com is a way for you to get your terahertz in a way that you don't have to interact with a multi-level marketing company. We are not gonna have you sign up and have to pay a distributor fee or have to pay a distributor fee every year. We're not gonna call you up in the middle of the night and ask you if you could invite your friends over for uh, a party to where that you're gonna get more people into our group. Uh, we don't need you to do any of that. We just wanna invite you to the table where you can participate and enjoy 
that was my experience. I was really super excited about terahertz, but I didn't want to go through the craziness of, oh, you want one? Well, let me get my upline to sit down and have a meeting with you. And then we're going to, you know, then we want you to do this. We want you to fill out this paperwork and this. I didn't want to do any of that. Uh, Benet, is that something that you enjoy? No, I don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that is when you hear of a wonderful product and then the next thing that you hear is it's an MLM, what is your response? I hesitate even, you know, trying it because you got to join, you got to go into the MLM in order to even, you know, try it. So I generally pass. I don't. That's part- my thing too. Even though I know it might be something good, I'm concerned that the it's overpriced. Um, and that I'm paying for all the downlines or, or for the hype. And I, I don't feel like you actually get as clear an understanding of what the product is and how it works. Cause there's a oh, but you just got to try it. But it's so amazing. It's the most amazing thing you've ever, you just like, it's, it just, it's hard. We wanted to make it available to you. We also heard that there were something like two or three month delays. And we felt we could get our hands on a wonderful terahertz unit. And basically, we just pack it up for you. And sometimes people receive it within a couple of days and they're shocked. They're like, how did you do that? How did you get it to me so fast? And they love that because this is, these are the days when people love that instant gratification. So we're really happy to take a terahertz wand. And this is the 6.0 wand. This is a wand that's included in our triple play or our double play. It's a perfectly good terahertz. It just doesn't have a few bells and whistles that the actual 7.0 does. But if this was like a beginner or entry level that you gave to a friend or you had this one as a loner, it would be perfectly fine. Does everything the 7.0 does. The 7.0 has some additional controls on it. So it's gonna have like a low, medium and high fan and it has a little bit more power to it. And it's just a little bit longer as well. So you get a little bit more of that focused energy of the terahertz going through that little tube which seems to focus it but you can get all three of them in our triple play or you can get just any one of them that you like whatever one calls to you and yes it's something that your cells really enjoy it gives you another your cells an opportunity to be revitalized and to be renewed and in an age where people probably don't get enough uh, sunshine this is a, a nice kind of a light sort of like almost like a photonic frequency that people can experience. Um, All right, I just wanted to see who was with us today. And thank you for joining us for the training today. We really, really appreciate it. And okay, the other day, the other um, Lisa from Canada was here and she gave us, this was actually going back a couple of weeks. She gave us this great review uh, where she told us that her client, which I think it's her husband, (laughs) right? She she wanted to tell us, but uh, anyway, she told us that he was in his 50s and they had an eight out of 10 pain debilitating to the point where he couldn't work and that's what i sent spend time using the core box on and then he she worked on five minutes working on the recommended places places that we've recommended that people work so this was from our class she worked on the palms of the hands where you have that pericardium eight point right in the middle the um, elbow creases, the armpits. This is where all of your lymphatic drainage points are located. And so she spent about 10 to 15 seconds on each point and a little longer on the midline. We showed the Chinese medicine meridians, the governing vessel and the conception vessel that run through the middle part of the body. And we were able to show that and we're gonna show that in just a little bit. So I love that she was, she almost did like a Chinese medicine tune up. She worked on some of the major points of the body, which an acupuncturist would work on, but you can work on that with your wand or you can work on those with your core box. So it's like getting an acupuncture session when you use your core box, when you use your terahertz technology. Um, She used the feet and we showed that kidney one is such a powerful point to work on for people. Uh, Kidney point is uh, bubbling spring. It is a point that is where a lot of the Jing energy draws from. And that's why going out on the earth, also putting your feet on the earth is very powerful because your kidney one point draws up all that um, negative ion energy from the earth. But this is another way you can put actually negative ions, which are generated uh, by the box and the um, 
the wand, you can put those into your body by sort of doing a circular motion around the ball of the foot, which is where kidney one is located. So she did that. And then actually by the time she worked on the lymphatic drainage points and the Chinese medicine points and the feet, his pain was almost gone. She didn't even have to work on his shoulder, but she did actually work on his shoulder towards the end. And he was very, very skeptical. He was um, really amazed. So he said, holy smokes, that's amazing. It works a lot better than the pain relievers that I've tried. And we'd love to hear that because your pain relievers like ibuprofen, you know, Advil basically, and your Tylenol, these are something that people can get over the counter. They do not need a prescription. I'm sure everybody knows that. And at least I, you know, growing up and seeing these around my, my home and parents using them, I never imagined that they could be so toxic. They're very toxic. And these are gonna have toxic effects over time. People just pop them like candy, don't realize that they have residual uh, negative side effects. And so it's wonderful that he didn't have to use it for his pain. And this person is a skeptic. Well, it's so funny. There's this uh, saying, you can't be a prophet in your own land. And so many of us are very, very good, very smart holistic practitioners, but the, the husband, the child, the parent, the cousin, the brother, the sister, they're all skeptics. We got blessed with a whole bunch of skeptics. They don't know how this works. They don't think it works. And did we had another person who said, oh, honey, I'm so happy that you got a nice expensive hair dryer for yourself. Uh, hope you enjoy using it. But he's another one that ended up his knee pain ended up disappearing. So, and then this one, right? So we had a few trial sessions the last two days to play around and practice with the terahertz box. These are his observation. When I just used the terahertz core box on his shoulder only, there was some mild relief, but it only lasted for an hour. When I did the main points and both of his feet entirely, he felt so much better. I love that it makes so much sense because when you work on the lymphatics and you work on those key pericardium eight and kidney one on the foot, that makes so much sense that it would help the whole body to open up. And when the body opens up and you actually reduce what's called stagnation, you introduce circulation, more flow, uh, that helps the, the blood not to be stagnated, not to just sort of, you know, pool somewhere. It helps the movement of the body. It would be like if a, a, a river couldn't flow because there was all of these blocks and now you're just seeing all of this algae grow within the water. But then you, you open up the blocks and all of a sudden the river starts to flow. It looks so beautiful. All the water is now clear. That's how it works in our body. So by clearing out those lymphatic drainage points and working on those Chinese meridians, she had already done about 80% of the work and he was having less pain. What a, what a really cool discovery, but also shows how powerful the terahertz is in moving energy and moving blood. And it's the combination of that hyperthermic effect, the nice, warm, snuggly, warm effect of the, um, the heat within the terahertz units and the terahertz itself and the light. I know that the light is making a big, big difference. The red light is very powerful and the blue light is very powerful. And we don't often have the benefit of just exposing ourselves to those different spectrum, uh, the different spectrum of light and um, really red light. That's why you see some people order these huge uh, personal red light boards and they will stand in front of the board in the morning and then at night in order to activate the mitochondria of the cells all over their body. Well, you can take the terahertz, you can take the core box and utilize that red light. You kind of see that red light right there. And then just use that all over the body everywhere. And you're gonna get the benefit of activating the mitochondria. The mitochondria turn your glucose into ATP, it literally produces the energy that your body uses to breathe, move your lungs, move your muscles, your liver work, your heart work. And so you give the body some light frequency to help that mitochondria to work better. What do you think about her experience of using this um, for her? I think it was her husband, but for her client, let's say. I think, I think it's phenomenal. And I also think it's funny, <clears throat> you know, because the husband's a lot of times the husbands are skeptical, you know, when you come along with anything like this. But um, yeah, if you experience uh, the relief um, 
it, that's valuable. I mean, who isn't val who doesn't take value with experiencing relief, especially when it's pain involved, you know? Yeah. It's so nice to have these ways that are non-invasive and non-toxic to help people to get pain relief. Um, there was a couple of questions here. Uh, Jeff says, is there any special treatment for urinary tract inflammation or infection? So you want to think about, first of all, you want to be very careful with any sort of UTI um, infection that gets under control in a reasonable amount of time. So we're going to tell you some tips here, but always be sure because you never want it to become kidney infection and so forth. So just be very careful that it gets treated, whatever, there's not excessive pain and so forth. But if you're trying to work on it on your own, then you want to think, okay, where is that originating from? Um, so you could work on sort of the lower part of the body. You know, you could work at the level of the kidneys or around the sort of abdominal where the bladder would be located. And you can just take that terahertz. I always say, and this is to answer the other question from Deborah as well. I always say clockwise because that feels really good for putting in healing energy. Um, and I know that, Benet, you've mentioned that when you go counterclockwise, that's sort of for like pulling out any negativity. So you could try both ways. I don't know why I very, very much feel like clockwise is the best way to use it, but it doesn't really matter. You're just waving your hand. Your hand is waving as a way to apply the light and terahertz frequency. So technically it doesn't really matter. Also, um, you can also go horizontal to like cover a lot of area in, in, in some amount of time where you could go uh, horizontal is not this way, this is vertical. And then horizontal would be this way if you're trying to cover maybe the kidneys on each side or the spine from left to right or something like that. So it does not really matter per se. Did you have anything more you wanted to add to that, Benet? No, I just, I agree with you. The idea is just so that you are, your body is experiencing the air, the terahertz, you know, that is being distributed. Yes, your absolutely. Body is going, your cells are going to do with it what it's benefiting to do. Yes, absolutely. And um, okay, so but for the urinary tract infection, now think about it, you know, be strategic. Again, it's going to be a lot of blue light, right? Because that's for pathogens. I would also work on those lymphatic drainage points because lymphatic, your whole lymphatic chain is a, a chain for processing different infections. It's uh, for processing viruses and so forth. So you'd also do maybe start with all the lymphatic drainage points. Also urinary tract infection, you wanna flush everything out. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna have maybe five, six, seven, eight glasses of terahertz water. Now sip them throughout the day, don't drink them all at once. But I wouldn't be surprised if you took the blue light do you think the blue waves, I think, I would think they would absolutely affect the water, don't you? Oh, I absolutely do. And another thought just hit me, you know, how you, uh, for any kind of urinary type of thing, um, bladder probably too, but uh, cranberry juice, okay. And we all know about that, I think. What sure, what's, to say, about what's to say that we should not, in other words, we should, Tara hurts the juice. That's a great idea. I like that. I like that idea. Very there's juice. also, um, just from the naturopathic perspective, there's also a great supplement called D-Manos, which yep, is good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It makes everything more slippery. So it's hard for the bacteria or, you know, to adhere. So I'm just going to put that into the chat there for UTIs. So it's just another one, but yeah, you could tear hurts your cranberry juice. That's a great idea. It's the same thing with the cranberry. Apparently has that quality of making everything on the bladder wall very slippery. So none of the germs, the pathogens can adhere. Um, so you could do that. And um, I love the idea of tear hurting and just drinking more water in general and the tear hurts water is a great idea, but also you could run the blue light along with the tear hurts into that water. So remember, of course, that the wand has blue and the core box has red and blue light. So try it. You could have a whole little thing that you do for the person every day. You do their lymphatic points, you do their kidney point, then you go on the back and go around, look, look up on an anatomical chart where the kidneys are located around that T12 area or so, and then you terahertz around the kidneys, and then you can do the front around the lower part of the abdomen where the bladder is located and see what happens? I wouldn't be surprised if the person doing this was very, very successful. Um, and let's see if we had, okay, I thought we had another question come through, but very, very good. 
excellent questions being asked today. I absolutely love it. Um, terahertz frequencies range from 0.1 to 10 terahertz. And we're just starting to find out and we're just having preliminary research about how powerful it is to use terahertz frequencies for different applications. So this is really a cutting edge therapy. Okay, some people believe that the terahertz frequencies help the body with self repair. I notice usually when I'm using it that I feel a burst of energy or a boost of energy after using it. Does anybody ever use it in the course of the day just to sort of, you know, get a little bit of a pick me up and feel a little bit better. So let us know in the chat. How are you currently using your terahertz? What are you doing with your terahertz currently? We would love to hear from you. Maybe something that you've tried that has worked for you or hey, I just wanted to let you know I, I used it on my ankle. I had fractured my ankle. That really helped. Or maybe use it for hair regeneration or maybe you're starting to do some skin applications on a regular basis to make your skin look younger and it works on acts on the subcutaneous tissue so it works penetrates below the surface and then not only does it go below the frequencies go below the surface but don't forget you also get the benefit of vasodilation you're opening up those pores you're opening up the skin with the heat and so that means that the frequency waves are going to go deep deeper and get deeper into the into the cells into the, especially the lymphatics the lymphatics live just below the skin. So it's gonna have a profound effect on the lymphatics. Okay, and a little bit of a review just for everybody who may have gotten their box recently. And if we look at this on this one as well, and we bring it, maybe we can see it close to the camera. Oh, we're sort of getting a view there. Um, so, well, I'll just go off of the, the video here this is the on off switch or the slide and then this one where you see the little sun or it looks like a little light rays that is going to alternate between red and blue and then this one is going to give you the power of the fan when you see a red light that means it's going to blow heat when you see a now this also always confuses me there are two other lights benet maybe you can clear this up for me there's a a dark blue light and then there's a light blue light how do you distinguish those three fans that run from that button? Honestly, I don't sit there and pay attention to which button okay. is controlling okay. it. But I do, the, the one button is controlling the fan to the point where the fan will be either high or low. That's what it, it is. It's either a low, it's either a low drone of the fan or, yeah. a, me, or a higher drone. So that's gonna, I just can't figure out why there's three. There's low fan, high oh. fan, and then high, I guess high fan and hot fan. Yeah, there's right. And it's there's a cold fan. So yeah, yeah. there's a cold fan. It has both a, maybe a low or a high. Anyway, yeah, you can try it out yourself, but it's pretty easy to use. You just switch it on with that one and then you choose the heat, which heat level you would like. When you see the red come on, maybe try that out. See if you like that heat. And then this middle one is going to alternate between blue and red. So it's you know it's so easy to figure out and anybody on here who's figured out how to use the genius this is going to seem uh, wow the <laughs> cakewalk super super easy all right and so then our our wonderful 7.0 wand um basically it runs blue light and i don't know if we can see it let's see if we can turn it on and sort of see yeah there we go we can see that blue light and also produces negative ions. Tell us a little bit what, about what you know, Benet, about the effects of negative ions on the body. Well, think about these salt lamps that you can get, you know, um, and they, they put out the, you know, the negative ions. The positive is not what you want because the positive, uh, I think it excites things, you know, from a doctor's standpoint, you could probably give a better uh, explanation of that. But um, so you don't want the positive, you do want the negative, which is, you know, calming and, and it brings things down, you know, uh, especially like if you have the salt lamp in a room, you know, the the ions go, the po positive ions go down to the floor, you know, which is what we don't want a lot of, because that is what causes a lot of issues for us. So you as a doctor could probably do a bit more expounding on that. 
correctly. Yeah, no, you're you're fine. You're doing fantastic. No, um, when you run, we have negative ions being produced. Of course, when you use it for air purifiers, it actually causes a lot of um, a particulate to fall out of the out of the air, which is kind of interesting. The change in charge, but the change in charge is what you experience um, right after it's rained. There's been a rainstorm, and all the air is clear. Uh, part of what you're experiencing is the power of negative ions. You also get negative ions when you put your bare feet on the earth and you pull up energy from the earth. All of that walking on the earth is putting negative ions actually back into your body. That's why it's so important to walk around in bare feet from time to time and really get that earthing, get that energy up from the earth. So when you're running the terahertz, you get a similar benefit of those negative ions which is wonderful and helps you to be more grounded and just generally helps you to feel better. I think it also contributes to why you get that burst of energy, why you just feel energized after doing a session. Now, Inanna says, I use it for comfort. It's been cold today with a low Arizona temperature and I couldn't get warm even after doing a brisk walk. Well, that is the kind of cold that we get in Portland for sure with all of the dampness. And that's what I've often used it for. I'll just take it, run it on my feet, get those feet to warm up. And then my whole body warms up and I feel so much better. But there's a huge benefit to hyperthermia. If you get in the sauna or you use the very, the nice warm temperature from your terahertz core box or your wand, that hyperthermia is very significant it, it seems to even affect the bone marrow you can get it on your bones and it may help you to produce healthy immune cells as a result and of course hyperthermia helps to protect you your body goes into hyperthermia when you get a pathogen it tries to get into a higher temperature to burn up that virus or that pathogen so hyperthermia has many positive benefits so it's very very good to run the um, terahertz at the highest temperature you feel comfortable with for at least a few minutes a day. Does the high speed fan send more intense ter that's actually a pretty good question. Does the high speed fan send more intense terahertz or is it just the heat um, that feels like it is or th that you're affected by it? I think I got the gist of this question. Um, well, one thing that this makes me think of is it's not that it helps it to work better but it helps it to go deeper because it's vasodilating the cells of your skin so it's going to allow the benefit of the terahertz to go deeper what are your thoughts on this benet yeah i mean you you said that 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 well i think you know the high fan obviously it's blowing more terahertz frequencies when oh it is okay so fan. more so yeah. a higher fan is is blowing more terahertz yeah and then the the red or the heat is penetrating faster and deeper, you know. So I think that that's what is basically the differentiation between you know that, because you think about it, if you have if you have the high fan and high heat, you know, on, how long can you you know run that before you actually feel that you've warmed up all the way down to your bone? not very long at all right yeah it goes fast yeah so think of it that way excellent um so uh inana says it feels really good on vertebra that have had past injuries or fractures yeah somehow your body knows that it's getting benefit it just feels so comforting and so good you kind of just want to keep doing more of it and patty says this might sound silly but i was having a sinus issue that was causing dental pain that is probably because of the cranial nerves and it might be like your trigeminal nerve that gives um well not the trigeminal nerve that's the skin sensory but there are lots of nerves in the the cranial nerves that kind of cross over into different things some are related to sense of smell some might innervate the teeth some might be related to hearing so you can have all of these sort of cross experiences so your sinus causing dental pain i aimed at my jawline and directly in my mouth for a short time, I think there was a distinctive salty taste. Well, hopefully not just a salty taste, but hopefully your your dental pain got better and was reduced. And so that'd be an interesting thing. Did we, I know we talked about this at one time, but would somebody open their mouth and like, can they get the light up into and around the teeth? Or they don't oh, need to, they could just go on the jawline on the outside. I don't think you need to. Do you want to? 
Um, I think there's moisture in the mouth and that makes me think there's probably um, an amplification that, you know, how water will amplify the moisture in the mouth may amplify, you know, and, but you're going to get the same result outside, you know, yeah, which, I think that makes, yeah, I would, I would kind of try it both ways. Obviously running the fan in your mouth is not the most comfortable. It's a lot more comforting running it on the outside and probably just as effective, but you know what? I never thought of it to try to do that maybe on a daily basis or every other day, because you might be helping some of the infections. Apparently a lot of bad stuff can happen with the tooth infections, um, but not just for tooth infections alone, but it can cause a lot of lymphatic sort of congestion around this neck area. And so I think maybe we'll talk about this next time in a little bit more detail about the power of maybe just going right here, right here, but also where you have this whole lymphatic chain underneath right because a lot of this gets congested here and i think it's a uh, blocked lymphatic drainage from whatever's going on with teeth stuff um and you also can get you know subclinical infections in your throat and so forth um, but just be careful and just maybe not right on your thyroid which is right here so maybe just on either side um all the way to the back of the neck uh, we got a question here from deborah she says are mo are most of us here using the high fan and high power most of the time so why don't you guys put into the chat what do you what power uh do you usually use do you use high heat do you use it more warm i personally will start with maybe a nice sort of a a flush from from head to toe of high heat and high temp but pretty quickly if i'm going to a particular focused place i will go high heat but low fan and i have i've never had a problem you don't need to have the high fan on all the time to get great benefit. What do you think? No, I, I agree. You don't. Uh -uh. I think it's to some degree, it depends what you're feeling. I know I've talked to some people where, my goodness, they didn't use it very long. And it's like they stopped using it and they say, man, I can feel, you know, 10 minutes later, my bones, I can still feel that they're that they're warm. Other people, no, they don't say that. So there again, I think it, it's a personal preference thing as to what you're feeling and the benefit you're getting from it and go ahead and use it accordingly. The set, you know, the heat, the fan, all of that. That's great. Okay, so we do have a coupon code that we're putting into the chat here. And so you can other, use that on anything. Did you the other that? thing, Dr. Ariel, I was going to mention when you were talking about the, the teeth situation. Yeah. Guys, guys and gals, don't forget about incorporating the genius with this. If you have the dental panels of Dr. Ariel's, you've got cavitations showing up. You have all kinds of things showing up and exactly what tooth and area in the mouth that it's residing from. So then... You can specifically point your terahertz wand, wanding. I, it's a bad habit. Terahertz blowing, <laughs> blowing at that particular side, whether it's top or bottom, because the genius is going to show you that and run the frequencies of the genius along with doing the terahertzing. Absolutely. Um, I totally agree with you. Um, tell us a little bit about what you might do for a dog or a cat to terahertz them. What would be your approach? Okay, now remember everyone, you know, I have anywhere from five to 10 pound Pomeranians. Other people, you know, have 50 to 100 pound bigger dogs. Um, and think about what a person weighs versus like me with five to 10 pound Pomeranians. You don't want to use the uh, blowing of the frequencies on them very long. It's absolutely not necessary. Excellent. I stopped having to use any kind of medication whatsoever for skin allergies when the summer comes along. All I have to do is take the tear and terahertz for two, three minutes. And I'll generally focus on the part of the body that they used to always, like my little cricket, my little five pounder, she always had the bottom part of her spine by her tail that she would break out with in the summer. And I'd, there was nothing I could do. And I hate giving medication. 
And so when I got a hold of this, all I do is two, three minutes in that area and up the whole spine back down again. And if I do that every day for her, I don't have to give her a pill at all. That's really cool. That's so heart heartening and so nice to hear. How old is your dog? Uh, Cricket is seven and I've got other various ones. My oldest one, I believe is eight. And um, what do you have in terms of, do you have fosters now as well or just the dogs yeah. that are yours? Yeah. I always have at least one foster. I'm down to one foster right now, but I've had as many as six <laughs> fosters. So you've had I don't as many six. Yeah, I don't do that anymore because it's too hard on my body. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot at one time. Yeah. Um, so if you have one foster now, how many dogs do you have total? Well, I foster failed um, six others, so. I have seven Pomeranians that live with me and just bring me joy and laughter and everything. So that may not be everybody's cup of tea, but even fostering isn't. And I understand that. But if it's your mission and your love and, and your heart, you know, that's not too many, shall I say, because you're you're actually doing it for a purpose, you know, to give these um, beautiful God's creatures, you know, a beautiful, warm home. So they provide me laughter and funniness every day. They're always up to something. I know next time bring some um, pictures of your dog and or the fosters or your big furry family running around the yard or something. There's Cricket. Oh, there's Cr that's your your dog almost looks like a little stuffed dog for a moment. Oh, I go to the store like Lowe's or Walmart uh -huh. and people will take a double take. They'll go like this. <laughs> I'm, holding, I'm holding her and it's like is that a stuffed animal or is that? <laughs> well, your dog is so calm. Your dog's like a Zen dog. I think what gives it away is they see the eyes blink. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise they think, is that a stuffed dog or is that real? That's actually pretty funny. Now, how do you get your dog into the Walmart? Is that like a companion animal kind of a thing? No, our Walmart allows it. Our Lowe's allow it. Home Depot allow it. Um, apparently by you, maybe Walmart doesn't, huh? Well, we dogs can go into Home Depot. They can go into Lowe's. They can't go into Walmart unless you have a companion animal certificate that's or something. Gotta, uh, is that a Texas thing? That's got to be a state thing. Um, and it didn't used to be. In fact, I one time, uh, probably five years ago now, I did take a dog in and oh my gosh, you would have thought I was committing a crime. The manager got called sat by stood by my side until i checked out oh my lord really the things that we get uh bent out of shape for just a total where you see people like that get upset but yeah that was definitely you know you couldn't do that in oregon but a lot of people these days have those little cards that they've gotten that allow them to take an animal just about anywhere with them yeah that's true but they must have changed it here because it didn't used to be but it is oh it's fine now you know that you can take them in and even the food section. Well, know. I'm really glad that you get that we got to see your dog. That's really exciting. And um, so do all the dogs respond well or does any do any of them freak out because of the fan? No, all of them respond well. If you don't want to scare them, if you've got a skittish one, start out with low fan. And um, and if they're bothered by the heat, use the cold, uh, cooler setting, especially if you have the box. But I have not had any issues with any of mine. Even the first time that I've attempted to use it on them, they've not been afraid of it or whatever. But then again, they're probably used to it because I groom all of my own. And there my goodness, the, the hair the hair dryer situation yeah. is that's, that's pretty more... good. Do you, uh, do you um, clip their nails too? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. I wish I lived close to you. I have you clipped <laughs> nails on my, my dogs too. My dogs are two um, kind of um, shepherd like kind of dogs, uh, cattle dogs, um, more working dog kind of mentality. And right. especially with the cattle dogs, they are known to be very high strung. And if you so if you just get a car rolling up into the driveway, it's absolute mayhem here. Wow. And so the the wand sound of the blower at this point freaks them out. But the way you can get around that really is with food, with lots of treats. So it's like a little bit of turning it on and then you give them a treat and you show it to them. You give a treat 
you turn it on, you give them a treat, you turn it on for longer, you give them a treat, and then they just have that positive association with yeah. whatever it is. Do you do that? I think I haven't had to, but I think oh. that I think that um, as long as they get used to it, you know, obviously yeah. it's more difficult, I'm sure, for you to groom. I know my son has bigger dogs. He doesn't even use the blow dryer. He just lets them air dry. Yeah, you know, yeah. I just like super, super dry. towel them off with a strong, with a chamois yeah. or, you know, whatever it is that absorbs that water because they do. But I'd love to get them where they could tolerate a treatment and it would be fun. But uh, you've done yeah. so great with theirs. Yeah, you can get them that way. Just to let you guys know that there are some controls on the 7.0 that are not on your 6.0. So your 6.0 only has an on off switch and but it still runs amazing terahertz. It's very high quality. I've run this myself. I, I like it. It's a bit smaller. Um, so maybe somebody with you know smaller hands or maybe even a teenager or something like that. Maybe be we well, want to have this one at home so people can use it and you're not as worried about it. And then you have this one is the 7.0. Well, this one has more of those controls for the fan. And I like, I really do like on the wand in particular, I really enjoy the um, sort of high heat, low fan on this. I could run this for a while. I don't know something about the wand in particular is very soothing, um, very relaxing. And you can, I can find that I can run it for a long period of time. Uh, yeah. Do you find that as well? Yes. And I do, if you may, I think you meant to say that, that the red, the 6.0, it isn't just on or off. You do have the settings on the 6.0. It's a different switch. Oh, I actually, I didn't realize that. You're yeah, right. I, for some reason, I thought is, it wasn't on. A, so it's got yeah. three, three on there. And what are, what are each one of those? It's the same. It's the same as the 7.0. Oh, it's the, the same, same just fan the settings. Well, I just totally different. misspoke then. So actually yeah. with this, it just looks different, right. but you get the same settings. Yes. Yes. That yes. is amazing. Yes. Oh, yes. that is absolutely amazing. Okay, thank you for putting me in the right yep. direction. You have the great blue light coming out of it as well. Okay, That's yeah. That's why the three pack or whatever you're calling that thing. Yeah, the, the three, triple play, yeah. Triple play, that is a real good benefit because you can get a lot of benefit off of the 6.0 and that somebody else can enjoy give it away as a gift or... i think i think so and yeah you have that little spare uh where you're always going to have somebody's probably going to be like well can i borrow it for a while well can i right. use it and it's nice to have that to be able to loan that one out it is yeah that's great um okay so i'm still working on a little process book and hope to finish that soon and just really want to invite people. So let's just see um, what the day is. It's the 4th of April. I'm just trying to get my ducks in a row here. So we're gonna have another session on the 11th. We're gonna have one on the 18th. We're gonna have one on the 25th. I mean, we're gonna continue our weekly sessions, but I wanna say, how about by the 25th, we're gonna give something away. <clears throat> Well, we'll definitely give away another case. We'll give away a case and a stand of your choice, but I really want to request you guys, if you have some um, testimonials you could send our way, you don't have to post them on the website. Just send them to me, ariel at geniusbiofeedback.com and tell me your story. You know, Diane gave us a wonderful story. Lisa gave us a great story. I would consider it a, a community service. If you just tell me five sentences or something about using your terahertz, We'd love to read it on the class and we'll do that giveaway on the 25th. We'll actually give away three sets of a, a, the stand of your choice and a case, but please send me your best testimonial and we'll keep reading them over the next and we'll choose somebody at random. But um, it's nice to get a prize, but we really just consider it a, a service to our community. If we could get a picture before and after picture, before and after aura, or just your story or story and picture, we'd super appreciate it. And please send it to Ariel at geniusbiofeedback.com. Any final thoughts or you things that you want people to remember over the next week as they're using their terahertz? Well, one thing to remember is terahertz, whatever you would like to receive the benefits from the terahertz in, meaning water, we brought up cranberry juice tonight, you can even terahertz your supplements, you know, um, 
And a lot of times we don't even think about doing that. I'm just as guilty as the next, uh, forgetting to do that. But there is the benefit of that. And um, also- How long if they wanted to tear hurts their food or their supplements, how long would they do it for? Oh, just, just a couple of minutes. That's all I believe that it really takes. You don't have to sit there for five minutes or 10 minutes or something like that. I, I think just a couple minutes, you know. I even agree with you. Minute, even a minute is going to do something. You know, it's going to put add something to it. But Absolutely. yeah, you can think about doing that. And I would encourage everybody to just kind of put that in your mind. Oh, gee, let me remember to do this. <laughs> and do remember to drink a glass of water, whether it has terahertz frequencies in it or not before you start your terahertzing and then a good cup afterwards and sip the water, but make sure you're well hydrated before using your terahertz and after using it as well. Excellent point, yes, yep, yep. Well, I'm certainly loving using my terahertz. I hope you're enjoying using your terahertz and we do enjoy bringing you training where you don't need to be in our downline or anything. We just love that you utilize the terahertz and we want to bring you the very best experience of using it loving it and learning about it so with that Bene and i will see you next week have a great night everybody thanks for joining take care and we'll see you then thanks bye Bene. bye